Yeah. <laughs> Surely knows what to do when they start begging. Kill them anyway. Take that, and that, and that, and that. Dang it, Skype. My village was burned to the ground. Hush. Do you know I actually saw one laugh as he ran my brother through? No, that sucks. I suppose that's why you stabbed that guy so viciously in the spine. I guess this is like the prison. Doesn't seem like there's a quick exit from here, but it wasn't very big. That was easy. You, 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 you got something on your back. Just letting you know. Dog, must you bark at everything? Was the air conditioner kicking on? Stables. Then I work my way down. Ah, uh, Stendar. I started off as one of his, uh, alkalites, didn't I? I think I still have it on me. Yes, I do. I haven't been told about that specifically, though, so I'm not sure it'll work. Zenithar's calling, I confess I was a thief. But I learned a few things in my time that might help you survive. Let me show you. Thanks. <laughs> For leveling me up. Oh yes. After all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. 
But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make. And I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. Sounds good to me. I wait our talk. Yeah. Let me just save. And see if this works. It is our most favorite company. Nope. Not yet. I gotta be told about it, which means I gotta go to Riften, I think. But that's the person, and that's the quest you have to do. So, let's head to the Temple of Mara here. Yes, you... <sighs> NPC chatter. You. Hmm? This temple is dedicated. I'm only a humble acolyte. If you wish. To. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, where is the dude in charge? Is it you? Lady Mara bids you welcome. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of the goddess. Her blessings are many. To love, not all. To receive the touch of Mara, you must explore the fact. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Hmm. Good journey, my child. <laughs> I don't think that's the book. <laughs> I know this is the place where you... Are you hanging out in the basement? Are you the person? No. Some guy, as I recall. Why wouldn't he hang out up here? This is a nicer room. Blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Huh. Oh. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard, but short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Of course. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. There you go. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. May you return to her benevolence and safety. So... Maybe that works? I don't know. Let me bring up Shavi's description page here. There's only like two or three Aragonians in the game that you can get hitched to. Two males and one female. The female being Xavi. Let's just slap this on. And I think by default, 
whenever we get married, she's going to go to Bree's home. And then I'll have to go to Bree's home and tell her, no, 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 that place is a piece of garbage. You go here instead. And then she'll go to uh, Falkreath. I might spend some money getting Bree's home upgraded, then just give it to Lydia. This is yours now. Thank you for guarding an empty cobweb rid riddled hut for... I don't know how many years, in-game years, this has been going. Still hanging out at the weather working, right? There you go. You have a kind heart. I'd be honored to <laughs> by your side until the trees themselves fade away if you could have me. Sure, why not? Short as life can be in this land, we will have each other. Alright, now I go down to Riften. And I don't need to worry about her walking, or any other NPC walking, because if I'm not in the area, things are perfectly safe. I'm just a danger magnet. So, life may be much shorter for you in the coming weeks. That could be arranged. Why'd you run over here? Are you running from this pigeon? gonna get me. It's gonna peck my eyes out. Blessings of Mara upon you. How may I help you, my There you go. You wish to be married? It's good. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. Don't be late. Don't want to miss your own wedding. Okay. Tomorrow from dawn till dusk. Basically, it, it doesn't take very long at all, but... I want to go indoors to wait. There's the orphanage. We'll be visiting there shortly. To oblivion with you! Oh, thanks! Okay, so that would be midnight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight a.m. Been having problems with the game crashing if I wait outside. Probably something to do with the dragons. But indoors, it's fine. Sorry. You caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear. Okay. No dragon. I heard you. I don't need you to attend the ceremony. You wouldn't fit. The building is not large enough to contain you. Oh. I got wedged into this. <laughs> in full armor. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. Yeah. It is from this love that we learned that life lived alone is no life at all. That's why I've been dragging me all around forever. Under Mara's loving gaze, to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal <laughs> Open the skills menu to level up. Journey forth together in this life and in the next. 